Peace in everyone, welcome to the Dragon Slumber Show. Today we're playing uh, Siggy, apart for Melusina. And uh, starting the stream, starting the recording, uh, started the game. Apparently F8. Or control? It is control. Okay. So let's dive into it. Siggy, a fart for Melusina, because why not? Alright. S. Uh, this is a game by Pixel.loo. Blimey! A, what a pair of lungs! I can feel, feel the pressure rising. Oh no! Come back! Yeah, I think that was a checkpoint. Um, this is a game by Pixel Lou. Um, released on Steam on December 22nd, 2017. For, uh, it's available right now for the price of three dollars, so it's not that that expensive. It looks nice. We're gonna start by by saying this game looks super nice. Yeah. Um, I don't know why farts. I guess the the um, the designer went, "Hey, farts are funny," which I I guess. Um, man, I I love destroying these these lampposts. Yeah. Oh. There you go. And it's super impactful. Like I I keep falling on stuff and I keep destroying stuff and it I, I mean it's fun. I love it. I love it. Now I have this new weapon. Everything is everything breaks. <laughs> everything is destructible. There you go. Everything is kind of crazy. Uh, did I mention that a key was provided to me through Keymailer? Because it was. So thank you. Thank you to uh, Pixel.lu. Everything kind of explodes. I wonder if, if it deals damage, actually. Yeah. So I can hold the button to shoot. And it shoots at the same pace as... Yeah. No! The music is good. I can jump on... on guys as well. Weenies. There's no time, I'm no I'm noticing. There's no I'm not incentivized to complete uh, fast, which, uh... Mm -hmm. I mean, at that point, that that's a, uh, a design choice, of course. I'm earning a lot of lives. Which is always scary. I don't know if it means that this game is super easy, or... I cannot... Okay, I can't shoot and move forward at the same time. I need to choose. Winds of change. I love destroying these things. Like, it's fun to destroy stuff. Oh, this is not a good weapon. 
especially since I can't I can't actually duck. I can't duck and and uh, attack low. I think there's a small X if I need to um, to attack the wall. Um, I've, I have been putting off this game for for a moment. I, it kind of went well. The fart of of uh, something. It's kind of dumb. Um, I I I don't find fart humor particularly funny. So it was kind of a well, probably kind of a dumb game that I'll try out sometime. No, it's a really fun game. Uh, it's fun. It's it's visually very nice. Um, I think, uh, calling it the, the, um, calling it the fart of something and having all that fart mechanic is kind of its, to its detriment, to be honest. The game is, is better than a cheap fart joke. Oh, level five red. Oh, there's might there might be two exits on this one. I think this is uh Okay. Is that Blind John? I think he's seen better days. Blind John seen Is that a razor? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh crap. Well, apparently there is very little consequences. At least at this stage of the game. Oh, I need to attack him in the back. <laughs> you, you'd think that would be pretty obvious, but no. I had not realized that I, I, I only damaged him in the back. Well, it gets really hectic. I'm pretty sure I didn't have the right strategy at first, but there you go. Too blind to see. Indie game Easter hype. Peace in. Peace in, Joshua. Have you played this one? Siggy, um, a fart for Melusina. Huh. 
Everything is exploding! You have not played this? I believe... Oh no, I thought I got it through Hoovit. It might be on Hoovit, I'm not actually sure. It's pretty good though. As I was saying, it's um... It has a cheap fart gimmick, I don't know why. Uh, the, the calling it a fart for Melusina was not necessary. This game is better than that, frankly. The quality of the game. Train with good games literally go down the toilet. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That and uh, I mean, there you go. It's also only three dollars. Uh, and by three, I might mean two. It's three uh, Canadian, but it might be two. So it's not even a very expensive game, overall. I think... I mean, this game feels like it... Unless this is the entire map. This might be the entire map. If that's the case, then I, I understand why it's so cheap. Um, Uh, it very m well might be only this. Seems inspired? Yeah, I could see that, sure. Uh, I don't think it is. I don't think it controls like uh, Ghosts and Goblins. But I, I can understand why you're making that, uh, that link. Well, there you go. I've lost my cloud, so I can't. It's like an easy, if, it, if it's Ghosts and Goblins, it's an easy Ghosts and Goblins. But yeah, it doesn't have a double jump, it, it, it has great controls. It has one of the fastest cannons, one of the fastest cannon travels I have ever seen in any game. Oh yeah, the night throwing weapons. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's... I'm on level 10 right now. I've not. I, I've. See, I've died a few times, but you gained a lot of lives. And, um. Yeah, I'm not. I think this dagger is better. You gain a lot of lives. And you respawn very close to where you died, and it's a, it's an almost instantaneous respawn too. It's it's pretty great. Uh, you know, it's not. I I always talk about 
games wasting your time. This is not wasting your time. This is okay. You, we're moving forward. We're we're always moving forward. Never stop. Never stop. Never stopping. Not an easy. It's a weird, it's a weird boss battle. beat the boss. What a weird boss battle. It was easier easier than the second one too. Oh, I could have gotten in the thing. Yeah, I'm starting to think that this is uh, that what we're seeing is the entire map. Just loves making everything explode. But you know what? I like to see everything explode. I got a life! Finally! A life! I think this will be the first time that I don't see Gia level. No, it's a ghost! Which I can't kill! Which doesn't seem to really chase after me, so it's fine. I died, but that's also fine. As long as you don't dash into things too much, you'll probably live. I love this triple dagger thing. Thanks, peace in! How are you today? Also, I just got a coin, uh, an achievement for coin hoarder, which makes it sound like I... Like I have an option to buy stuff, but I don't think so. The main menu? Yeah, there's no, there's no buying. Accidents will happen. Well, yes, they will. <laughs> Which other games? I actually played a lot of things today. This is like my sixth game today, I think.
Uh, I've played Fossil Hunter, I played uh, SteamWorld Dig 1. Uh, what else? Imperatum, Willy Nilly Night, Toki Tori 2. Like, I played a lot of games. I don't know what it was today. Today, um, a lot of stuff didn't manage to uh, keep my attention. This is, this, quite frankly, this is keeping my attention a lot more than uh, most of the other stuff that I played. No! Which, kudos to Siggy, uh, a fart for Melusina. But you have a terrible title, and I hate the fact that you have a fart joke. I mean, I hate the fact that this is all about farts. It, it wasn't necessary. You have a, a, a fine game. Toki Tori was fine. Uh, it, it was fine, but it didn't grip me. But I, I, I thought it was well executed for what it was. It, it, it accomplished what it, tr it was trying to do and was doing it fine. Which, uh, as we all know, if I say that something is fine, I mean, that's usually not that bad uh, a criticism for me. It's not high praise, but it's it's fine. See, the game has a lot. It seems that like this game has a lot to explore in the level, but at the same time, I don't feel incentivized to do so. This, you know, what this needed? Well, I was gonna say um, collectibles, but uh, it technically has collectibles through the letters. I think this just needed uh, a little more in the presentation department uh, on the overworld. Kind of show, okay, you haven't gotten everything. I can't even, okay, I can. Uh, like, there's no difference between uh, levels that I've completed um, completely, found everything in a level. I think that could have been interesting. And okay, this is the biggest chip pen ever. It belongs to cholesterol. <laughs> okay, I, li I like I like cholesterol. See, sometimes things are funny. Ah, well, I died. This is kind of an annoying boss having to switch from side to side, but I like I don't hate the idea. Yeah, I fell in. It's not good to f fall in uh, boiling hot oil. One more and I should be done. Oops. No! I beat Cholesterol! I like Camera Shake. Uh, I, I think it adds a lot of, of impact. This game has a lot of Camera Shake. But um, I, I just played another game, uh, Willy Nilly Night, which I feel needed Camera Shake to kind of... Um, make more out of that game uh, to, to make it more impactful in general
No! Well, I kind of wanted the daggers, but I don't want them enough to do it again. Oops. Ugh. Four levels away! One, two, three, four. Yep. So it is ultimately going to be a pretty short game. It's completable in about mm, 20 to 30 minutes, I guess. Uh, well, 30 to 40 minutes, I should say. But still, I mean, 30 to 40 is still very, very short. It looks nice though. I mean, I, I really like the art style. Um, I kind of hope that the uh, the artist and the the creator does more with this uh, engine and with this character. You know, everything is fine except the the for the fart jokes. Everything is fine. Uh, I, I want to see an expanded version of this game, basically. There's a lot of screen shakes. Well done. Well, that's a shame. Oh, okay. So dying respawns clouds. No! What do you think about camera shaking? about the art of camera shake. I died. But, I mean, so, one of the things about this game, it's really easy. Uh, and it's very, everything is very inconsequential. Uh, I would maybe add a mode where, you know, you only live once. And it's giving me lives for the final boss, so. This one has too much, the sound effects. Too much can make people... Yeah, it does have quite a few... Um, quite, quite a lot of, of it. I will agree with that. It's Hulk Hogan! Because why wouldn't it be? I have unstink up. Uh, hit him from behind. Alright. Okay, so I need to attack him on the side of his wound. No! Well... Two, three... One, two... I mean, I'm dying quite a bit. Oh. Nope. 
I don't know why, that, that death sound really got to me. Two. One, two. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's usually two, but sometimes it's three. One, two... Hey! Uh, it's her lungs, I'll have you know. They said it in the game. Now that's just plain silly. I can't believe I've lost her again. Well, off to weenies. Your final score is 40%. I don't know what that means. Well, there you go. I, I guess it's the number of, uh, of, um, letters that I've got or something. 40% is not a lot, though. Game time, 31, 20. Um, Siggy, a fart for Melusina. It's three dollars. It's available on Steam. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I I, I thought it was uh, very nice. Uh, the the uh, artwork is very nice. Um, you know, people have been saying in the, in the chat how uh, there, there might be a little bit too much screen shake. Well, there is a lot of screen shake, but to be honest, I would. This is a lot better than the previous games that I've played today, so uh, even in terms of screen shake, it, it adds a lot of impact, so I'm not going to complain too much about it. Go check it out, the link is in the description below. It's, uh, you know, it's, I mean, it's not that long, but it's fun, and as you can see, you can kind of 100% it, so you guys can go and uh, try to uh, accomplish what I did not manage to accomplish, and maybe you end up with a... The Mermaid, if you 100% the game. Who knows? Uh, that's going to be it for me for today. So, my name is Kevin Jaguer. I'll talk to you guys next game. Peace out. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. You know the drill. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check out some games I've made, like Arrow Light Core. Alright, until next time, peace out!